Hi there, welcome back to Not Another Budget, I'm Nicole and on this channel I'm attempting to cash budget my way out of debt and fix several years of financial misbehaviour and if that's something you're interested in following along with please don't forget to stick around and check out the other content that I've created for you on this channel. Now I am back after my slightly chaotic video yesterday where I was full of fluey cold, I still am, I am just a little bit more alive and the cat was doing his best to just interfere with things so um, if anyone managed to make sense of that video well done gold star and extra brownie points for you because even I watched it back and was like okay well you've committed to things in sharpie so it's gonna have to go out. But this is just me rounding that up and finishing off and talking a little bit about cash flow because I have made reference to the fact that I am needing to be aware of that, particularly if I am going to go ahead and make, you know, larger payments to my debt, first of all, with regards to my guarantor. Um, so that is just something that I need to bear in mind. My cash flow may be slightly squeezed. Um, if I try and do everything all at once and whilst I am intending to earn extra money next month I can't guarantee that I'm going to have that in the account when I want it slash when I need it so <clears throat> let's just deal with that first of all. So some bills I don't have set up on direct debits and that is partially because in the past when I haven't had the money sitting there for whatever reason and yes I'm aware that is wonky what I've just put down um, obviously the bill has bounced and I've incurred a late fee so I pay on either standing order or I physically go on to the online account and pay. Now I know that's not what everyone does but for me I have to go through and tick off a bill as I pay it. Um, and it's just a good way for me to keep on track, but I know that not everyone else does it that way. So, the first one set of bills that I can pay straight away are my rent, which is eight fifty, my mobile, which is twenty eight, and my internet. which is 35. So those are all bills that I can go ahead and pay straight away. And because of that, that therefore means that I can also pay um, my guarantor. Um, where are you? So my guarantor will then get a payment of 300. And my snowball which is to ajjb law because that will be an extra payment this snowball is currently 104 so that's that then on the 5th is normally when my direct debits for my other minimum debt payments happen. Now, because it's a Sunday, that won't happen then. It will go out here. <clears throat> and I also have another one here. So while I remember it, I have... So I've got Overdales, which is going out on the 8th as normal because I didn't have the option to set it up on the 5th. It was the 1st or the 8th. Then I have the, that's the wrong way around, standard minimum payment for AJGB is 17. And there should also be, where are we? one cool debt recovery and that is also on the 6th this month so the minimum payments that i have got set up are pretty much established and going now we can see here on this that i've got and i was looking back at this and going like actually but for the weekend down here this is a five week month um so i've got one two three four ish Four weeks after I get paid, I am anticipating a payment through from YouTube. Now, 
providing I make it through to here with no more major financial issues and things. I do need to obviously put petrol in, etc. and stuff like that. Um, but what I will then do is take whatever is left, <coughs> which is more than the £35 minimum payment for Credit Spring, and I will pay that back. So I think this YouTube payment that I have received in October is going to go into my car, <laughs> literally into my car, and then to Credit Spring. So that is what that's meant to do. So Credit Spring will be paid back by the end of this month um, at the time of filming. I do just want to make sure that actually my car is fully topped up for the week and I'm not going to have any problems there. Um, I'm just trying to think in terms of other bills. When do I know I've got other things coming out? In terms of discretionary spending, I'm not going to do any right put that down here yet because obviously I've not done any discretionary spending. I think I have Spotify normally comes out around the 16th and that is 5.99. YouTube normally comes out around the 24th, 25th. So we'll put that down here. AA is the ninth. I'm gonna run out of purple stickers. Um, and I'm gonna these 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 calendar squares are not big enough. And I should also have around I think the second, if not the first, um, car tax, which is fifteen. 75 okay that would do for now just to give me an idea of where things are roughly structured now in terms of my overall month itself when i get paid i will make the guarantor payment the snowball payment for ajjb i will then pay <coughs> my rent my mobile and my internet like i said those bills are not set up on standing orders or direct debits i just pay them outright and go through and tick them off that therefore means that obviously there is a large amount of money coming out of that £2,000 pretty much straight away. I've obviously got this payment coming through here, but I am anticipating a minimum of £60 for YouTube. So that may be something like, OK, well, that's my fuel for the month or that's food for the rest of the month. Obviously, therefore, I am going to need to balance my cash flow, i.e. the amount of money I have in my account or in my cash envelopes at any one time quite carefully because it is a longer month. And because I don't have any breaks, so there's no half term where I'm not going to be driving around or really going anywhere. Um, and I have got to be mindful of that. Now, I have started, I've taken today as rubbish as I've been feeling and yesterday evening to make up some of the things that I had pre-cut from when my business was still in effect. Um, go back and check out my couple of videos ago where I talk about relaunching a business for extra income. £310 realistically covers everything um, in terms of bringing that in extra and I can do that across Vinted or whatever I do in terms of this business. But I have made up five product products that I will list maybe on Vinted actually to see if they go, um, to see what type of response I get from them. I can be a little bit fairer with my pricing on there as well because I don't have to deal with <laughs> Etsy's fee structure. Um, but I can do that, get that going, and then make a look and see. Ideally, it's looking like probably 75 a week. Although realistically, if I can generate an extra £100 a week income, that also means I can start on my savings early. Because YouTube payments, you know, are hit and miss, I can see that my October earnings, which would get paid here, um, I can see that I'm going to meet the payout threshold, but I don't know where that's going to sit at and where that's going to stop. So I will only ever budget the minimum and that's if I can see that that is going to be the case. It may not appear every month in my budget. And like I said, you know, it's taken a, a while to get to the point of a first payout. 
but we're going into the month in a good place we are in line with where my revised debt payoffs and financial plans were um you know credit spring will be paid off and done so that's two minor bills fully paid um yes i still have admin to do <laughs> with regards to that debt admin um yeah and time's running out on that actually we'll need to i need to see what my schedule is going to be like tomorrow actually um and I can therefore start paying AJJB and getting that cleared. Now, £41.85 clears once I've paid the minimum payment and their normal payment and the snowball. Um, £41.85, like we've discussed, clears that account completely this month. So in the same way that I did with Credit Spring, um, currently in October, where I went through each week and totted up my small change, my silver 50Ps and 20Ps, and then any any unallocated one pound coins that didn't need to go into an envelope for whatever reason i will go through and do the same method again because that really did help chunk down my debt when i started in october the balance on um credit spring was 100 pounds and it formed a small part of the snowball so i was able to pay 34 pounds off that taking that down to 66 and i genuinely thought on my original calculations that i'd be rolling into november with that 66 pound balance and that would be the one being cleared this month instead i've just chunked through it slowly and i have put every kind of spare full change roundup and things to that and that has really helped and it's not been detrimental so far to my budget the most detrimental thing i did in october was not monitor my cash flow and that's why very much i'm now visually going through and plotting so at a glance i can kind of see okay right this is going to feel really horrible because there's a lot of money going on um money going out even if i take out thanks train two weeks worth of um um, and obviously as well i'm going to also be doing the 100 pounds onto the iceland bonus card and even if i then take out you know two weeks worth of spending money or two weeks worth of cat food that's probably another 100 200 pound total um across those envelopes that's going to be coming out for say two to two to three weeks so there's a lot that can tends to go on my in my account for say like this number of days when i first get money in um and then it settles but it's just keeping track of what's going on up here so in a nice non-interrupted as, as much as i love my cat <laughs> it's nice to actually do this and round this up um i'm feeling pretty sorted for november there's a bit more of a structure we're gonna see um you know and do it and i'm gonna do a bit of a testing a, a product testing i would say on uh, five items on vintage do they sell can i get what i want for them um and is there legs there with regards to that platform now i know there are legs with etsy i just really don't want to go back and sell on etsy it was more hassle than it was worth for me um particularly with the product ranges that i would be creating um but more on that in another video i will catch up with you all tomorrow with whatever that one's going to be um i think i'm just going to release this later on tonight just so it kind of all ties up together um so today's thursday's videos um were to do with my november budget launch but apart from that um quite happy full of cold slightly delirious and um needing some dinner so on that note i'm going to love you and leave you have a wonderful evening wherever you are in the world and i will see you all soon bye bye for now